Scottish Highlands begins. So I gotta pack up all my stuff, get out of this cozy little guest house, and get primal. Let's hit it. on my way to La Caron and I uh, found this place on the map weeks ago called Rogi Falls. I'm running a little late, but uh, I couldn't pass it. I had to pull over and take a, take a walk down the trail and see, see it or I would regret it forever. Let's take a peek. to see today for five or six hours the sun came out I got hit with a rainbow it's absolutely beautiful and sunny right now I'm lucky feeling lucky
64 miles in. Just saw a sign for my uh, my campsite. I'm staying at the Wee campsite, and it is two miles away, man. Day one, almost over. Oh, gotta go set up my tent and all that, but man, it turned out to be an amazing day. With all that rain first, ooh, that kind of sucked, but can it get more beautiful than this? I think not. We went down towards Cape Cod and we didn't go to Cape Cod, but we went down on the coast around Near Plymouth? There. We went to Plymouth, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's about 10 miles from the bridge. Because yeah. the Cape, Cape Cod is technically yeah. an island. Yeah, Plymouth. Plymouth. Isn't that where the, the pilgrims landed? Supposedly. Where, yes, so, allegedly, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's where we went, yeah. So we went to the <laughs> place. Yeah, I'm thinking because it was, it was 2000 and two when we went oh, okay and we were in we were in boston airport we were leaving and it was the first anniversary of 9-11 yep 2002 that's right oh uh, yeah yeah that would have been so, the first and it was it was fucking mayhem oh i it bet was, <laughs> i bet you probably got a full mayhem. cavity search oh everybody got a full strip search that's what know. i'm saying with the rubber turned, glove and everything turned you upside down shook your pockets out <laughs> well the first day is in the books 68 miles and i got a campsite here at Lot Karen and the next three days are gonna be crazy so I'm gonna try and enjoy this campsite enjoy this view rest up for the night and get ready to go balls to the wall tomorrow all right day two Lot Karen to Shield Egg and I'm about to climb the Balak Nava Pass which is 2,300 feet one continuous climb it's gonna be really difficult but Gotta get done. Let's go do it. Just around the corner from the Bilak Naba Pass. It's been on my mind for three months. But all the locals have been telling me it's actually not the hardest part at all. So Thousand feet of elevation. Today we got almost six thousand feet.
starting to get pretty difficult. Not even halfway there. Come on, Mike. Dig deep, baby. triumphant moment I just pedaled up the Balak Naba Pass actually I'm not quite to the top only about 150 more feet but man that was the hardest physical thing I've ever done but hell man look at that come on tell me that's not worth every bit of struggle unbelievable I just finished ascending and descending the Balaknaba Pass, which is something that has been making me lose sleep for the past three months. Uh, I prevailed, I conquered, I conquered the Balaknaba Pass, and the ride down was nothing short of epic, but I'm pretty sure I do not have any brakes left. That was crazy. I could have got going easily over 50 miles an hour if I just didn't ride the brakes. I did not want to die today. So I stopped for lunch in the town of Apple Cross. Look at this beautiful little place. Just had me some fish and chips. Now I've got 35 more miles to go. I'm on the coast, on the uh, on the route from Ala Karen to Shieldag on day two. I'm just so grateful to get the opportunity to see the beauty that exists here because it's absolutely astounding, and I'm at peace in this moment. Life is good. About to start day three. Camped out in the small village of Shieldag last night. What a special little place it is by the uh, by the sea here. Population about 120. I met a few of the locals and uh, 
this little strip of, of road right here is pretty much the whole town. Let's get started on day three. Alright man, so today so far is uh, rough. I can already tell it's going to be rough. It's windy as shit. The wind is blowing against me and I'm uh, going uphill constantly. It's like almost 6,000 feet to climb today. So I'm going to stop here at the Wee Whistle Stop Cafe, grab some coffee, get juiced up, and keep going. Oh man, this wind is killing me. It's blowing hard. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can't really get going more than four or five miles an hour. And I've got uh, 50 more miles to go up mountains like that. It's gonna be a long day, baby. So it has been a pretty shitty day. It's been raining constantly and just crazy uphill battles. It's been rough, but then I rode past this majestic waterfall and that just made everything better. I'm a happy man.
what's your name, man? Oh, hello there, I'm, I'm Richard. I'm at uh, Kylestrom, which is in the northwest islands of Scotland. <laughs> I'm, I'm a hitching, I'm a hiking, I'm meeting interesting people like your good self. Oh, watch out! Oh, it's okay. Uh, nothing breakable. All right. I've been to a boffy at the top of the valley here, so I've been up there for six days. No phone signal. There's a boffy etiquette. You share what you have. Two cans of beer in my bag. And word, there's a long distance trail comes through here, and word got to me that somebody was injured. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to hike over the hills to that boffy. I'm going to take in biscuits, hot chocolate, and beer. Later in the day, a speedboat arrives. Yo, I'm an all time boffy hand. NBA Mountain Boffy Association, look it up. Shared all our stuff by candles, tap some candles in, no electric in these places, no water, it's basic shelter. And then I had a speedboat ride back to Kyle School the other day. Oh my. <laughs> nice to meet you. So happy to find all time in Scotland. <laughs> Well, today is not going so great. Some spokes on my bike just snapped. I managed to uh, tie them back together and keep them from flopping around with the one zip tie I had. And uh, it was pouring rain all morning and my Strava um, app doesn't seem to be working. It's leading me astray. And I'm not really sure exactly how far I have till my next stop. It said I only had about 20 more miles, but according to some guy I just saw, he said it was 60. And now my bike is questionable. It's the first time I've thought about throwing in the towel and just taking a train back to Inverness and getting a hotel room and chilling for the rest of the time, but I really don't want to do that. But I also don't want to ride this thing another several hundred miles if it's gonna break on me. Cause all I'm really equipped to do is fix a flat tire or fix a broken chain. How's this for solitude? It's what I wanted. Trying to keep my spirits up. So if I go back and watch this clip and I actually finished it, I'll be proud. All right, let's keep moving. since I started the ride. I think about 1,500 population. It's actually a really cool, beautiful little seaside town. A couple good restaurants, some good stores. The last town I went to didn't even have a store, so it's pretty amazing. came across a little bit of roadkill. I know it's not the most nice thing to put in a video, but it's a badger and I'm just super intrigued because I've never seen one in real life and I know they're supposed to be like the most badass creature on the planet. Pretty much they like scare away lions and shit, so let's take a peek. Yeah. 
that's a pretty sturdy looking creature. All right, people, poor little guy. Moving on. How you doing? What's your name? Colin McGregor. Colin McGregor. Where are you from? From Glasgow. Oh, that's where Glasgow. I started. I'm in love with that city already. Glasgow's cold. That's where I'm finishing. I'm going to go to Edinburgh for a little bit yeah. and then uh, finish up in Glasgow. Yeah, a long way to go to Edinburgh from here. Yeah, but I'm going to I'm gonna take a uh, train from Inverness. All right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is amazing, man. I'm, I'm loving it. Yes, well, it's, uh, the weather stays like this here. It won't be too bad. Are you doing the whole thing? No, no, I'm just, uh, I'm out for a day, right? I'm just going to Loch Inver. Oh, okay. Uh, my wife's coming around, we'll have lunch in Loch Inver. So, yeah, I'll uh, probably stop there for some food too. Yeah, so, you'll enjoy, of course, the NC500, I'm forgetting. The NC500. The NC500 doesn't go over this main road, that's right. It doesn't? No, it doesn't, no. Where does it go? Around the coast road. Yeah, well, I can't take any shortcuts. So some spokes broke on my rear wheel and I've been trying to relieve some weight and throwing stuff out, seeing what I really don't need and what I can get rid of. And as I assess my, um, my necessities, I realize the most important piece of equipment I brought with me on this trip is my little speaker here, because it gives me the juice I need to conquer these mountains. What a view, look at that! We've walked with Jesus and his cross. He did not All right. <laughs> Jack Black, calm down. I am here at the Kyle Skew Bridge. 
and if you have not studied this route like I have, it will not be as incredible to you. But let me tell you, this is a milestone. This is precisely the halfway point of the North Coast 500. I'm gonna get some drone footage in a second, but this is the moment. I'm very happy right now. getting crazy I'm telling you man they just never stop every time I'm starting to get comfortable they go right back up campground I have stayed in yet. It's called the Sango Sands Oasis up in the Northern Highlands um, in the town of Durness. And it's these beautiful fields right on the cliffs of the sea. Here they have a uh, laundry room, so I'm going to go clean all my clothes. They have a breakfast bar, so I'm going to get some food and some coffee, pack up, and hit the road. I got my breakfast sandwiches, my Americano. I'm gonna go sit down on the cliff, get fueled up, and then get out on the road and head out to Tongue. I'm staying at the Kyle of Tongue campsite tonight. How about that, huh? How about that?
called Smoo Cave. I've been looking at pictures of it for months. I just left my campsite at the Sango Sands Oasis. It is day number seven. Getting down to the end of the ride here. What a beautiful, beautiful place. And I stopped at uh, Smoo Cave to fly my drone, but it was no drone zone because of nesting birds. So pulled out the 360 camera instead. So that should get some pretty sick footage. But uh, out of this town and off to the next. Off to Tongue to stay at the Kyle of Tongue campsite tonight. Let's hit it. Llamas up here. I love llamas. Hey guys. We're alpacas. Maybe alpacas. Llamas. Both cute. Love them both. Carry on. You know, I've been going through a lot of ups and downs uh, emotionally on this trip. Like, you know, moments of regretting it being like, why the hell did I put myself into this situation? And then other moments of pure euphoria. Right now is one of those euphoric moments and I'm feeling very, very grateful and I'm just, I feel grateful and blessed that I have a body that's physically able enough to take on a challenge like this and that uh, I get to see this part of the world and that it's not raining today and that I got my music jamming and my bike hasn't had any significant problems and that I've got a bag full of food and I'm just on an epic adventure. Life is good. Life is really good. Thank you, Mother Nature. Thank you. <laughs> So today I thought was gonna be one of the easier days out of them all just cause it's actually a pretty short day. I'm only going about 40 miles, but man, there's some crazy hills. This hill I'm on right now goes from basically sea level to about 900 feet above sea level. That's a big climb. Can't beat that buto, man.
is asleep at the campground right now. But I am trying to get packed up and get out of here within one hour. I've got a big long day today. It's about 65 miles, 4,000 feet of elevation. And on day eight, that's a lot. So heading to John O'Groats, the northernmost area of the whole UK. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. Fingers crossed. Let's pack up, hit the road. All right, man. Just left uh, the campsite in Tongue. It is day number eight. I'm getting down to the end of this trip. It's not raining. I got a full belly. All my batteries are charged. Got three drone batteries, nice and full. Four GoPro batteries, full phone battery, full speaker battery, full Wahoo GPS, food in my bag, and like I said, last but certainly not least, it is not raining. And pretty soon before you know it, I'm gonna be back at work in Boston, so I'm gonna try and soak this up for these last few days as much as I can, because this is what I wanted. And it's amazing. <laughs> Let's ride. these signs for cattle grids everywhere that to keep all the animals from running away but you got to get off your bike so you don't have your bike up see Another cattle grid, man. Have a good day. I just found this lone black stallion out here in the mountains. I figured I'd come say hello. Hi buddy. Good boy. What a beauty. What a handsome lad you are. Have a good day, my friend. be climbing a hill, man. I lost me hat. Ah, shit. I lost me hat. I gotta go back. Ah, oh, there it is. I found it. Hey, come back. 
Gore. miles away from John O'Groats which is the northernmost point of the Highlands also the northernmost point of the UK and uh, it's day eight I've got two days left I'm just trying to appreciate this moment here right now because I think this might be the last of like the peaceful roads I think after this I'm gonna be on busy industrious roads and so this is kind of the end of the good stuff There's a break in the rain at 6.30 in the morning and I should be getting up and packing up my tent but it's so cold and windy outside and it's so cozy in here in my sleeping bag. I do not want to get up right now but it's the second to last day. I'm almost done. Must get up. Must move. shop to be open just so I can get a little bit of give a caffeine boost this morning and then I'm preparing for a gnarly gnarly day. It is going to be raining pretty much all day and you can see how windy it is. I'm taking my last week because this is my last day that's not the last day. Tomorrow's the last day. And when I got up this morning it was raining so hard I just could not bear to wrap up my tent on soaking wet again. So, I threw it away because I got a guest house for tonight. After riding 70 miles in the rain, I don't think that I am going to want to um, camp out tonight. So that was it, man. Camping in Scotland is over. I am done camping Hit it.
to start my day off right with some blueberries and coffee. Be ready to take on the world. Last day, 48 miles to go. away from Inverness, the town where I started this whole journey. So I'm four miles away from finishing the North Coast 500 ride. Man, that feels good to say that because I didn't think it was gonna happen. Felt like it was just gonna go on forever. But I'm feeling good, man. I've been on the scariest highway in the Highlands for the last two days, the A9. Worried I was gonna get hit by a damn truck or something. But now I'm finishing the ride on this beautiful little bike bridge trail. See, as you can see, nice and safe. My heart rate has dropped significantly since getting off that highway, and I'm feeling like a million bucks. The sun is out, it is not raining. I'm almost done with my journey. What a day. Everyone, have a great day. I made it. I'm back in Inverness. <laughs> oh man, so many moments where I was regretting this, this journey. Saying, why the hell did I do this, man? This sucks. And I know why. Because there is no other way to achieve the feeling that I have right now. The feeling of a euphoria, dopamine, endorphins. You can't get them in this kind of a dose unless you do some shit like I just did, which is push yourself to the brink for a week and a half, battle through the elements, do physical things you've never done before, use your brain every day to keep all your things organized. Man, I went so above and beyond anything I've ever done. And now I can truly say I'm high on life, man. <laughs> so quite literally, I am back where it all started. This whole ride started in these guest houses at Ardra's Glencairn. This is where I stayed 10 days ago and uh, started the journey and this is where I'm staying tonight to finish it. <laughs> <laughs>